I'm going to go to Yahoo Finance and I'm going to type in the name of the company, in this case, Nano X. And once I get there, I'm going to go over to statistics on Yahoo Finance for Nano X. And I'm going to zoom way out on my browser and I'm going to take a screenshot. So I've zoomed out as pretty much as far as I can zoom out here. And I'm going to go ahead and just take a, uh, a screenshot here. Let's see if I can get everything in the screenshot. And then, so I've gotten pretty much everything I can get. I could take another, actually I'll just go ahead and just take another screenshot here to get this. And then I'm going to go over to their financials. And I'm going to take another screenshot over here. So that just shows their income statement. So I'll go to balance sheet. I'm going to take another screenshot here. Cash flow. Another screenshot here on cash flow. And then the last screenshot that I'm going to take will be on analysis. Uh, so I switched over to analysis on Yahoo Finance. I'm going to take a screenshot here. And then pretty much at this point, all I have to do is go over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna drop all those images in there. So I'm gonna pull those images up that I just took. It looks like I took like eight images and I'm gonna drop them into ChatGPT. Um, okay, so it's saying maximum number is 10. So I'll need to take that into consideration. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just skip one. So I took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so it's allowing me to add nine. And I'm just going to say, evaluate this young company. Um, and I'm going to say the name of it. And I'm going to just pull in the description so that, so that um, ChatGPT has a little bit of like context on what this company is and what they do. So I'm going to copy the, the official description that the company gives. Give that to ChatGPT, and then ChatGPT is going to look at all these images, and it's going to do a pretty phenomenal analysis for me of this company. Now, in this particular chat, I've already actually run an analysis on the two other companies we're talking about today, Airship AI and Sound, SoundHound. So you'll see those up above. I gave it a few less images for those, and it came out a little bit more quickly with the answer. So you can see it breaks down cash flow, balance sheet, income statement, valuation, trading information, and then gives you an overall evaluation at the end there. I was extremely impressed with the uh, output that it gave. And you can see it's taking a little bit longer because I gave it 10 images on this one. Um, so once I've actually given it that, I can go back and I can do summaries. I can ask it to summarize it if it gave me too much information. And I can even ask it to compare and contrast the different companies which is re really where you get into the granular power of AI, comparing and contrasting different data, uh, pulling insights out of data. So you can see here, we've got it for SoundHound. So we're going to actually give you our take, but I'll also kind of go back and I'll uh, look at ChatGPT's take on these companies too.